Hello and welcome once again to my YouTube channel. Thank you for joining me here today and if you like what you hear please hit the subscribe button for more videos. Now we carry on the story of Mesoamerica, okay, the story of the Mayan people of the Yucatan Peninsula, Belize, Lower Mexico, Guatemala and Honduras. Now we've been doing the story um, from a long way now and the Spanish are there up to the last video was from 1544. We're going to carry on this video uh, from around 1641 and to the present day. Because around this time, Belize fell, uh, around this time, Belize came to notice of the Dutch and British pirates. And so, uh, England, so English pirates was looking at Belize ironly. Right? And we're going to carry on the story from here. To the present day. Now, in 1641, the Isma of Central Patan assisted Belizean with soldiers against Spanish invaders and oppressors. 1642, the War for Belize is won, and independence of the mayor in Belize is achieved. 1643, Pirates' raids increase along the Belizean coast. 1648, the pirates sack Bacala. In 1650, estimate the date of the beginning of the first British settlement around Belize City, as it is today. In 1654, Captain Francisco Perez tries another reconquest of Belize, but was not successful. A new governor in Merida sends man, man males fleeing to Belize from, from the Yucatan looking for refuge. Taxes are extorted by torture. Tipos, Tipu swells to over 1,000 people, ma mostly males. In 1655, the center surround the cocoa orchards near current day Belmapan, which is the capital of Belize, is about 450. 1657, the Spanish finally give up on central, western, and northern Belize. Coastal expedition to the south attempted a limited area of conquest. Failure occurs for the Spanish when one Catholic priest is killed and others are wounded by mayor militia in the Toledo district. The Spanish party hides for a month in the jungle and flees north over the mountain. 1678 to 1680, the Catholic Franciscans return in vengeance with a large military force invading northern and western Belize as far as Tipu. 1695, the mayor become weak and disorganized. The Spanish applied two pincer attack against central Patan, the Itza mayor, the left pincer passing through Belize and Tipu. The population of Tipu is reduced uh, by military force and modern weapons in 1696. 1697, Martin de Usula his military expedition conquered the Isamere Island stronghold of Lake Flores on March the 13th. The population flee, leaving the Spanish to starve. Again, uh, going back to our previous uh, videos on the mayor, when they are put under pressure, and enslavement by their rulers, 
uh, the lower caste and people tend to just flee. In, instead of fight, they flee. And thus, because the Spanish depending upon the man slaves to give them food and so forth, the Spanish then starve. In 1698, the Spanish finally give up and vanish from Belize. 1607, the Spanish force the Chipu man to help in a fight against the Itzamer, then turn on the Belizeans and sell them into slavery. Again, in those days, you never trust the Spanish. 1708, the civil war in Belize between the Tipu town area of Yucatec mayor, influenced by the Spanish, and the Mosul mayor of central southern Belize, continued to fight the Spanish. The Mosul mayor lose and are wiped out. Now, in 1763, ignoring the native owners of Belize, the mayor, who have successfully repelled all Spanish invasion for 225 years. The Europeans contesting for rights of invasion, conquest and enslavement of Belize mayor agreed to the Treaty of Paris over in Europe. This permits Spain to give authorization to British local cutters to work in Belize, but giving the British ex exploiting invaders only logging rights, absentee Spain, with no troops on the ground or in occupation of Belize, still claim paper map sovereignty via the paper bull. Belizean were neither consulted or invited to participate in this European Conference of Invasion Rights, dividing up the potential spoils of Belize. In 1783, the Treaty of Versailles signed with terms similar to the Treaty of Paris. In 1786, Convention of London signed allowing Bayman to cut wood but not establish plantations, fortifications or governments in Belize territory. First British superintendent of Belize is established. In 1798, the British defeated the Spanish in the Battle of St. George's Key. In 1816, Britain started putting up fortification in Belize to protect itself against Mayor Rebellion. And in doing so, the Spain protests the erection of fortification by the British in Belize. In 1817, the British superintendent assumes authority to grant land titles. In 1820, the fourth recorded slave revolt since 1765. Now, that you must remember that uh, although the British were there to cut wood. They were not cutting the wood themselves. They imported uh, slaves from Jamaica and from Africa to do the cutting. In 1821, Central American region declares its independence from Spain. In 1824, there are estimated 2,300 slaves in Belize, including Africans, Creoles as a mixture of white and African, or a mixture of uh, African and man, and descendants of the man people. In 1831, colored subjects of free conditions are granted civil rights. In 1838, emancipation, four years after Britain, of slaves who composed less than one half of the population. Free blacks and colored composed about half the population and whites about one tenth. 1839, Central America Federation disintegrates. Guatemala claims to have inherited sovereign rights over Belize from Spain. 1840, laws of England declared to be in force in Belize. Executive Council formed to assist the superintendent. Spain does not attempt to reassert its authority. 1850. 1850, 
US-British Treaty, Britain agrees to refrain from occupying, fortifying, or colonizing any part of Central America. Britain claims this treaty exempts Belize as a prior settlement. Formal constitution adopted, providing for legislative assembly, Belize is now a colony all but in name. 1855, legal system regularized. 1859, Guatemala recognizes British sovereignty but claimed it signed treaty because Britain agreed to build a road to the Caribbean coast. In 1862, officially declared a colony and recognized as part of the British Commonwealth with the name British Honduras. 1863, Treaty with Guatemala, which further defines road-building responsibilities. In 1871, status changed to Crown Colony on the Governor in Jamaica, a legislative council with five officials and four unofficial members. In 1884, colonial ties to Jamaica severed, separate colony status announced. Guatemala threatens to repudiate the Treaty of 1859. In 1890, a request to introduce elected members uh, was turned down because only 400 of the population of 3,000 were white. In 1893, a treaty with Me Mexico settled boundary disputes. In 1919, Belizean soldiers returning from World War I protest discrimination in ex-servicemen's right. In 1922, establishment of civil service association. In 1931, a hurricane hit Belize. Britain supplies aid for reconstruction and regains reserve powers under new constitution. In 1936, a new constitution was introduced. Property, income, and literacy qualification restricted eligible voters. Britain offers £50,000 to help build the road to the coast without admitting liability. Guatemala demands 240000 In 1937, Formation of Laborers and Unemployed Association, which stages boycott and demonstration. 1939, formation of British Honduras Workers and Trade Unions, which later becomes the General Workers Union in 1943. 1941, mass meeting held demands made for adult suffrage and right to elect government. Labor unions legalized by colonial governor. In 1945, Belize is defined as the 23rd Department of Guatemala's new constitution. 1949, People's Committee formed to protest devaluation of British on dollar. 1950, the formation of People's United Party, PUP. Minimum age for women voters lowered from 30 to 21. 1952, General Workers Union, GWU, amounts a 49-day strike. 1954, new constitution is introduced, which provides for universal health suffrage and elective majority in Legislative Council, PUP, begins a 30-year winning streak in all general and most local elections. 1955, a semi-ministerial government introduced but governors keeps reserve power. 1958, the formation of National Independence Party as the first political opposition to the PUP. A new constitution, majority executive council is elected. 1961, Belize obtains association member of the United Nations Economic Commission for Latin America. Belize turned down offer to become associate state of Guatemala. Hurricane Hattie levels Belize City.
1962, the formation of National Federation of Christian Trade Unions. 1963, Guatemala breaks off negotiation with Britain and threatens war. In the movement towards independence, Executive Council of Government evolves from Advisory Council to Cabinet Ministers, reserve power and are practically eliminated. Control of local government passes to Belize. Britain remains control over defence, foreign affairs, internal security and conditions of public service. Governor-General appoints George Price as Prime Minister. In 1965, US lawyer appointed by President Johnson mediate dispute with Guatemala. His proposal favours Guatemala and is rejected by all parties in Belize. Formation of Democratic Independence Union in 1968. In 1969, the formation of National Federation of Workers. 1972, Guatemala breaks off negotiation with Britain, threatens war by mobilizing troops at the border. Britain sends a fleet and several thousand troops to Belize. In 1973, the date when I first went to Belize, the name of British Honduras is officially changed to Belize and Belmapan become the capital formation of the United Democratic Party. In 1975, tensions with Guatemala prompts Britain to send a squadron of Harriet jets to Belize. Britain allows Belize government to act in international matters. First of a series votes by United Nations on Belize's right to self-determination. United States abstains. Panama President Torrijo supports Belize's independence bid. Latin American countries begin to shift from siding with Guatemala to solidarity with Belize. Hurricane Greta in 1978 causes major damage leveling banana plantation but no deaths, formation of the Belize Defence Force. 1979, refugees from El Salvador, Guatemala begin flowing into Belize. In 1980, UN passes resolution demanding secure independence of Belize before next session 1981. No country votes against the measure, Guatemala refused to vote. 19 81, a new constitution is introduced. Negotiation with Guatemala heads of agreement provoke riots and state of emergency in Belize. In September 1981, Belize become a fully independent member of the Commonwealth of Nations. The Queen of England remained ceremonial head of state. Price First Prime Minister of Independent Belize, Belize joins United Nations and non-aligned nations. United States begins security forces training in Belize. The UDP wins in a landslide victory in parliamentary elections. Manuel Esquivel becomes Prime Minister. Voice of America transmitter installed at Punta Gorda. 1985, Esquivel government signs economic stabilization agreement with U.S. Agency for International Development, requires government to adopt neoliberal economic policies, including privatization of public corporations and agencies. In 1987, formation of Security Intelligence Services, SIS, model on British MI5. In 1989, PUP narrowly wins September parliamentary elections, 15 to 13 seats. That returns George Price to Prime Minister's office. Government dismantles SIS and relaxes control of media. PUP wins five or several town board elections. Belize celebrate 10 years of independence. Guatemala recognizes Belize as an independent state but total dispute remains unsettled. In 
1993, the British government announces the withdrawal of troops and ends security guarantee. PUP calls early elections for June 30 and narrowly loses to UDP 16 to 13 seat. Esquivel returned as Prime Minister. Negotiation with Guatemala collapsed due to Serrano's problems. In 1994, UDP wins all seven town board elections. British troops complete withdrawal. In 1998, the UDP party loses the five-year national elections in a landslide to a protest vote based on failed political reform of the Belize constitution. The PUP win and promises to change the way Belize's government with wider dispersal of political power and policy making. Checks and balances are suggested from many sources to elect to elected dictatorial rule by the winning party ministers of cabinet. But now there are several civic books and other various booklets outlining a dem democratic changes to the way Belize should be governed. The PUP for many study committees to research the situation of, return, of turning Belize into a democracy. That is where we're going to end it for today. Complete the history and timeline of Belize from 1741. Uh, I'd like to thank you for joining me on this journey here of where Belize has gone from a, a Maya civilization to the Spanish uh, occupation and the fight back of the Mayan people to finally uh, the British pirates and logwood cutters introducing uh, African slaves to cut wood for them as well and how Belize has changed from the time of uh, Spanish conquest to British conquest and it has changed into a fully independent country recognized by the United Nations. Now I'd like to thank you all once again for joining me and if you like what you hear like to hear more historical videos on Latin America, the Caribbean, and so forth, please hit the subscribe button.